Okay, here we go. Hello? Hello, okay. Yahoo! I am Moon Kitty as usual, and this is Sunnyfall. I am Sunnyfall as usual, and this is Moon Kitty. Mm-hmm. I'm turning the music back on, begrudgingly. Okay. And I'm not starting a new game. Here we are. Woohoo! It's winter the second in the Grass Eating Kingdom. Yes. We just finished. Oh. Uh... M mild introduction. Hello, everyone. This is uh, what will probably be our last Cattails stream uh, because the Kickstarter is finished, but we need to finish getting married to a cat. Uh, we got engaged to Charlotte last time, and today we're going to max out her relationship points and see what occurs. That's the plan. <laughs> Ideally. Let's see what Charlotte has to say to us. We already talked to her, but... Hi. Yeah. You coming to give me a kiss? You're kind of a dork, Petunia. <laughs> I love Charlotte. <laughs> There's no prey. There's no herbs to pick. What's winter good for, anyways? Hmm, there's no prey, huh? I know you can't do anything about it, but I've got to rant to somebody. It sucks. Why do we even need this stupid season, anyways? Alright, let's, uh, let's see what it looks like out there. Oh, wow. Oh, I will is... say, winter's very pretty. <laughs> there is some prey. Very, very little. So it's not completely barren out here. I was wondering if maybe it would be, uh... Are those actually prey, though, or are they bugs? No, that's a bug. That, 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 that like, June bug-looking thing. Oh, is, oh, is you caught something else, yes. This is a prey. That is indeed a prey. Mm-hmm. Apparently, blueberries grow in the winter now. <laughs> oh, and I should eat something before the check gets mad. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, very, uh... Very wintry. I think we uh, we didn't really explore winter much um, earlier because no, we were, no, uh, we, were busy we were there for <laughs> yeah one day, and we spent that day getting engaged. It was a busy time. <laughs> yeah, the world map changes to be white too. Someone sent a super chat saying, uh, oh, they've been waiting for another episode. Uh, they're very excited to see where this will go and are sending love. Don't forget about Crampy and to eat. Okay, we'll go see Crampy now. Yeah. Ah, greetings, comrade Petunia. You startled me. I was in the middle of something. I'm concocting a new theory about birds. How do they levitate with such ease? Certainly it must have something to do with those beaks. The clinic must remain a sterile environment at all times, so I keep my scientific experiments to the back part of the building. It may not look pretty, but it is very important work, I assure you. We'll go visit Crampy every time there's a super chat. <laughs> <laughs> So, which bugs are those? Just beetles or something? Hermit beetle. Hermit beetle, yeah. Looks like we can still go swimming in the middle of winter as long as we're swimming on the beach. Well, I, I assume that this is more rushing water that wouldn't freeze. Mm -hmm. Do we have any streams around? Uh, uh, not streams like we're doing now. I mean, streams as in little bits of water across the territory. Uh, yeah, if we start heading this way, we're gonna see, um... 
Oh, and so, someone said, Sunny, I love your crampy voice. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you can start spinning around. Yeah, yeah. So the non-running water freezes, oceans don't. Oh! That's actually a very good question. What is the volcano place like in the winter? Hmm. Because that's hmm. those are two things that shouldn't go together. I and I, I don't I don't want to encourage drinking of the spicy juice, but you know it, it's for love, educational value. Love to see what the volcano is like in the winter <laughs> for very normal educational reasons. reasons that don't have to do with killing yourself by drinking lava. I love um, very. Uh, Very responsible activities. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, the most important of which is drinking lava. Uh, do, mm, okay, see, see, that's where we differ. I don't consider drinking lava to be a responsible activity, is the thing. Mm. Mm. <laughs> the whole chat is filled with spicy oh. juice. Oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> This, this has become oh, wow. strawberry. No, you actually can walk in the spicy juice. Oh, <laughs> wow. Delicious strawberry juice. Okay, this is the oh singular season in Look, which you're allowed to do this. I actually saw Wow. I need to get over there. This is actually cool. I didn't think the volcano would change this much for the winter. I don't. I don't think this. The, the, this I don't think I don't this think is how this volcano is works. Um, <laughs> I think that this might just be um, how it is for the demo. If, if for, but for yeah. now, it's the delicious strawberry juice. That's amazing. I don't even think I'm spinning on it. What yeah, no. what would happen if you happen to be standing on a uh, delicious frozen strawberry puree when it switches over from winter 10 to spring 1? I, I think you would just immediately start getting hurt. Oh, yeah. That, but uh, mm. we can try to make that our goal if you'd like. <clears throat> I don't want to make that our goal. <laughs> hmm. Uh-oh. Oh, that's a spider. Hello, spider. Uh, both of us have less spicy juice problems. Free spider. Dead spider. You may be confused for a minute there. Yeah, you don't spin out on this either, so I really- I, I don't think it's frozen, I think, um... Well, I- I think what it could be is, uh, effectively magma being, uh, transformed into, uh, uh, rock with the cooling. Look at how we're Maybe? on top of the reflection of the moon. That's, uh, some pretty stuff there. Mm -hmm. Petunia, the strawberry juice, the moon, the sun. <laughs> it's Petunia and her parents. Yeah. I want to see if I can do something. Look up in the sky, Come Petunia. The biggest thing you see is one of your mothers. No real specification which. Yeah, is well, I mean, a... it depends on the time of day. I wonder if there's a reason to even pick up the Void Marrow, because, like, it, I don't think it sells for much. I don't think it's, um... No one likes it. Yeah. Uh, it's it's probably a bit weird if you have you if they hate uh, you or... flesh hanging out in your den. Just a, it's just a bad idea all around. Uh, <laughs> TV <laughs> in the chat. Yeah. All your, are y'all thinking about inviting Crab to Petunia's wedding? I think that might be awkward. We we might have to leave him off the guest list. I I mean, I don't want him to make a scene after all that happened. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the crab from our den and put it down if I can. But oh I no! I don't think I'll have that kind of option. 
Oh, actually, in the final game, we would be able to bring Charlotte out with us for a date to the Strawberry Juice Land. We can't do that yet, but it's eventually going to be a feature that you can take partners out with you if you uh, have befriended them. You can also do so. Hi, Ocelot. Seemingly. Um, when the <laughs> game is out. Ocelot, what is your problem? Hmm? He's a good boy. Is he? Is He's he? a great boy. Is He's he? a lovely boy. He's a wonderful boy. I Flawless baby cattails. boy. You want to play cattails, Ocelot? <laughs> he has nothing to say to me. Never mind, he has nothing to say to me. <laughs> Yes, I do. <laughs> anyway, we got a super Ocelot chat. Ocelot Muse go. just implicitly improved people's lives. Oh, yes, we did get a super chat. We now need to go see <laughs> go Crampy. Go see Crampy. <laughs> this might have been a bad rule to put in place. <laughs> Stop anything you're doing and force them to go see Crampy. <laughs> Greetings, Comrade Petunia. You startled me. Uh, perhaps you were expected to see a whole wardrobe full of masks in my room? Nope, I only have the one. It has served me well for many years. Ah, oh, so you're not- oh, You're not like one of the cartoon characters who just has uh, 50 copies of the same outfit in their closet? There we are. That looks cool. Quite a lot better. Stay healthy, Petunia. There we are. Crampy yes, uh, one Petunia. true king, Ocelot, came to visit us and bless us with his muse. <laughs> you coming to give me a kiss? You're kind of a dork, Petunia. You want a trout? I have like a thousand of them. Seriously, they're starting to get in my way. Take it. Wow, thanks, Charlotte. Thank you. That was a lovely, heartfelt gift. Someone sent us another super chat. Do we have to go straight back to them? <laughs> Give Queen of the Night first. Oh, okay, but it says talk in your mole talk voice. Talk in your mole voices for the next minute? What was oh, my boy. mole voice? Was it this? Was this oh, it was my that. No, that was definitely it. That was what it was the other night. You gave a voice to that character, and I was trying to remember what it was. It was the mole. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, neat. I actually really like these, Petunia. That's sweet of you. Now, if I remember correctly, mine was a really bad, over-exaggerated southern accent. I can't believe that! <laughs> Ocelot, what are you doing to me? <laughs> I have southern family. I, I really could be doing a much better accent than this, but, you know, sometimes you just need really awful ones. There we go, we visited Crampy! <laughs> Crampy has been visited, now we can get back to business. <laughs> How long is a minute? Did anyone start a timer? <laughs> I don't time anything! Oh no, You're lucky uh, I even got... start these streams? <laughs> uh, Moon, we, we got another super fan. This is a problem. <laughs> Blood Hush says... <laughs> Ocelot's oh, muse no. paid for your medical bills. Well, that's correct. Yep. Ocelot's muse are in dead are indeed. Yeah. The the things that oh, satiate our life. This is a freaking another one. Oh, this is a problem. Oh <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, Dark Angel Wolf Scourge says, "I love all your videos, and I'm making, uh, always watching the videos you make, and I can never stop watching. And I love the mole voice. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, the the mole voice is true. I don't remember lovely. if that was actually the mole voice or not. No, but... that was definitely the mole voice. You were absolutely correct because I remember you saying, uh, I, I don't have love. I'm a mole or something <laughs> like that. I'm not as iconic as that.' Here we go. <laughs> we're giving Crampy a peppermint." Now yeah, we, of we... course I'll say live, laugh, love in a bad southern impression. <laughs> there we go. Now it we... has been done. We've, we, we've done everything <laughs> we can for Crampy today. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> the minute was completed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, you're still wanting to talk to me. That's fine. I didn't mean to be standoffish or anything. I just didn't expect you to be chatty. This is my best hunting hour. Please give me some space. The fewer cats around, the less likely the kitter- the- <laughs> the kittens. The, the critters will catch wind of our scent. Kitty! Hey, Petunia. What's on your schedule for the day? The more difficult a fight is, the bigger the payoff. No risk, no reward. And I'm not talking about the trophies. I'm talking about the satisfaction of a job well done. I can't beat it. Unrelatable. I like Champ. I like Champ. I, I relate to Champ. Yeah. <laughs> In specific ways, but yeah. I'm gonna give this. Uh, I'm gonna give this trout to uh, Bob. Yes, give trout to Bob. Well, now I'm glad to see you, Petunia. Anything interesting going around these parts? Well, now thank you very much. That just made my day. We are at four stars with Bob. We are the Whoa. ultimate Bob friend. You know, Petunia, I was a bit intimidated at first when I heard you were the leader, but you turned out to be all right. I'd imagine some cats would let the power get to their heads. I'm happy you're not like that. You're you're right. We have not been like that. We have done nothing for this colony at all. Yeah, uh, the power didn't go to our heads. The power just we didn't wasn't use the power. All. We abandoned the power. C Coco does all the work. <laughs> Keep up the good work, Petunia. Speaking of, what a glorious day! Not a cloud in the sky. Make the most of it, Petunia. Oh, Coco, you have such generic things to say. <laughs> mail? Coco's generic guy. You've got mail. To Petunia. You're a married cat now. Congratulations. What? No, we're not. I guess we are. I guess we're oh. married. I guess we're, what we've oh. been done this entire time has been married. I know that you both find your lives enriched by your love for each other. I've included a wedding present in this letter. Oh, you sent us money. Thank you. Hi again. That was some wedding. Thanks for the invite. I had a great what time. Wedding? The, the wedding we had. <laughs> the wedding. The wedding. We, the Everyone wedding was invited to, to except us, I guess. <laughs> you two look very cute together. I'm glad you found each other. Oh, and I forgot to give you your wedding present at the ceremony, so here it is. Sorry about that. Okay, so I guess we had a wedding. Uh, we invited uh, both Garlic and Bob and no one else. And Bob. Yeah, uh, and apparently Petunia also did not attend. Uh, it was just Charlotte and Garlic and Bob, and Charlotte said we're married, and they said Yahoo, congratulations, and broke off. I can't believe this. <laughs> we missed our own wedding? I... Yeah, we missed our own wedding, but no one seems to be bothered by that either, so... Yeah, I guess... well, it, this is fine. <laughs> so, now I'm curious, if we're already married at one ring, uh, what happens at four rings? I don't know. I guess we'll see if anything happens. Greetings, Petunia. You have come to seek my guidance, have you not? I dwell in two realms at once. There are duties I must attend to on both sides of the great cosmic divide. Some cats have the ability to read the signs in the stars and glean knowledge from the heavens. I guess Glimmer is just right. <laughs> Glimmer is absolutely right. <laughs> TV in the chat says Four Rings gets a divorce. No! Oh no! No, Charlotte four, would like that too Four much. Rings and they hand you a divorce flower. Alright, I'm gonna fulfill their wish. Champ X Crab, it's gonna happen. Champ X Crab? I'm not sure Tramp likes Crab. Uh. Uh. The chat willed it. Well, okay. Uh, okay. Hey, Petunia. You don't need it? You sure? Champ neutral -ish? Is, is neutral about cra crab. As yeah. it turns out, sinking the Champ X crab ship horrifically. No cramp for you. 
Ooh, ghost beetle. That's a rare one, I guess. Okay, buddy. I don't know what you'd like. Maybe it's to leave my room? Attention. Love. Endless devotion. Kitty's evacuated. Both evicted. Okay. <laughs> now we're in a, a more ideal streaming environment. <laughs> um, if you're wondering why Ocelot does this, uh, he only does it if I'm talking to someone. If I'm yeah. talking to someone, recording or streaming, he comes up and he yells and he yells and he yells and he yells. Um, if I am, uh, not doing those things he is perfectly content happy little cat uh he just uh he gets stressed out if he hears me talking to seemingly nobody i mean that's that's fair <laughs> he, he wants to be sure you're living in the present and not talking to your computer that doesn't talk back he might just think i'm talking to him i'm not really sure mm -hmm. did you see that wow i did once you're spinning that was... that was quite literally a slick move. Alright. <laughs> Sorry, now I'm goofing around. <laughs> Go ahead. It's the last stream after all, somebody has to. And that someone has to be you, because I have no control over Petunia. <laughs> Much as I might want to. <laughs> Uh, seemingly there's going to be a, um, there, there's going to be a Mac version, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the only time the Mac version wasn't available was for the demo, which is why I'm with you. <laughs> mm -hmm. So next time maybe you can be in control. Perhaps. Maybe my in control will involve dating cha uh, dating champ, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Sunny. I don't know. I think it could be interesting. Interesting, hmm. Interesting. <laughs> uh, do, do, I, I do. I do want to go through and um and see what I can't uh, who what I can't experiment a little bit with um on my own, but mm -hmm. uh, I think as far as the demo goes, we've pretty much. Oh, it's chocolate now. It changes color. Is this is this the daytime color, or does it just change every day? I don't know. Um, it was um, it, it was kind of like a <laughs> like 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 a, like a almost nighttime last time mm -hmm. we were here. Cause this this color definitely looks more like solidified volcanic rock. Yeah, but there's a there's a reflection on it. Is there? Yeah, it's hard to oh. see, but it's there. Interesting. Strawberry milk, chocolate milk. Is there a time when it will be vanilla milk? Never. I mean, I doubt it. <laughs> I don't approve of vanilla milk. <laughs> Is this like your disapproval of vanilla Frosties? Yeah, that's exactly What's your problem what with vanilla? I have no problem with vanilla. Just... You know, vanilla milk. <laughs> vanilla milk is better than hot chocolate. Heated vanilla milk, I should say. Hot vanilla milk. What? Yeah. You hate chocolate so much. Yeah. It's just <laughs> very intense. Vanilla milk absolutely exists. I thought I had invented it myself, but they kind of, sort of, have a version of it at Starbucks, if you get a vanilla steamer. Um, but it's basically just, you take milk, put in like two tablespoons of sugar, 
uh, and a couple teaspoons of vanilla extract. Stir, put in the microwave, and you've got yourself hot vanilla milk. It's lovely. A Christmas staple in my house. Mm. <laughs> it's beautiful! It's Everyone should try it. Eggnog, Sonny. Oh. Mm -mm. Mm. You feel very no on eggnog? I feel very... it's okay. I'm probably not gonna drink it if there's something else. <laughs> yeah, I don't like it either. I'm just no. teasing you. <laughs> and a lot of people uh, put alcohol in it, which yeah. um, makes mm. it worse. <laughs> Alcohol is what you put in something if you want it to taste worse, honestly. Yeah, no. Uh, alcohol is, I don't actually like this drink, so I'm adding this because I don't care about its flavor. Yeah, l l l it's, it's, it's like you've decided, you know what, um, this tastes good, but what if I made it disgusting? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, um, th there was this restaurant that uh, I went to a lot as a kid, and they had this gorgeous um, mint chocolate... Uh, 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 Oreo milkshake thing, um, but and, and I always wanted it. It was just this uh, lovely bright green milkshake, these splashes of chocolate sauce and whipped cream and Oreos on top. It looked delicious, except it, they put in alcohol for some reason. Why do you need to do that? In like a mint ice cream thing, they put alcohol. Yeah, like mint uh. mint Oreo ice cream milkshake, except they added in alcohol. I don't get it. Yeah, no, um... When I was younger, I used to think I couldn't even have alcohol, because um, rubbing alcohol gave me a... Mm -hmm. Gave me a huge, huge negative reaction. Why is this melted? Wasn't this frozen before, or am I... It's a good way to skip across the river, at least. Oh, eat. They're telling us eat. We're starving. Okay, okay. Right, let me look at the map quick. Um, I want to say this one right next to the house was the one that had the, uh, the winter stone on it. Ooh, another one. We could just... Oh, this one's purple. I think it's the huh. lightning. Oh, yeah. The water is purple, too. Slurp, slurp, slurp. Maybe the, uh, the water isn't frozen every day in winter. Pink. Very pretty. Someone said, Moon, would you just instantly die without Sunny? No. <laughs> I can answer that one. <laughs> yes, my job here is noticing your existence. Moon's <laughs> job is controlling the cat. <laughs> um, bold of you to assume I can die. Oh, that's true. Moon Kitty is actually immortal. Petunia, however... Very easy Not as immortal. Yeah. Very, very fragile and soft. Perhaps that's why our parenting techniques weren't working as well. Y you were expecting an immortal child. <laughs> sit down with the character creator, accidentally make a blend of our personas. <laughs> So we can do the last quiz. Maybe it was one down. Mm, this looks about right, actually. Oh, some things are frozen here and some things aren't. Oh, interesting. I'm wondering if that's a glitch or if those are the ones that connect to the uh, 
ocean. Well, that one connects to the ocean, so maybe. Oh, yeah. There it is. <gasps> I am the steward of a great treasure. I watch over it until the one who can claim it will come at last. Do you wish to challenge me for it? Then prepare yourself. The challenge is about to commence. I'll ask you questions and you answer them. Correctly answer three questions and I'll give you a reward. But if you miss three questions, you're out. Here we go. Question one. If a cat rubs up against you, it most likely means they... That is correct! Question two. How many domestic cats are there in the world? Oh, this is actually one I have no idea the answer to. Yeah. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> that is correct! Question three. True or false, orange cats are more likely to be male than female. That is correct! Astounding! Superb! Petunia, you've won! Great work! I'll distribute the prize now. I've been your host. Thanks for playing! You've gotten every question right four times in a row. That's impressive. Yeah, well, that second one was the only one that slipped me up, because I have no idea how many cats there are, but I, I, I made a vague assumption based on how many people there are. Yeah, that's fair. Maximum hunger has increased. Well, it fed me. Now we don't need to eat. Well, we need to eat as eventually. quickly. Um, yeah, the, the orange cats thing. Uh, that's not because cats have like a <gasps> statistic. Scrub. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, continue. It's not because cats have a statistic probability to be orange or not orange. It's because for a cat to be orange and female, it needs to have two parents who both display orange. So, um, that, that means the cat's father needs to be orange and the cat's mother needs to either be orange or tortoiseshell. Um, for, for, for it to, to be female. But, um, a male cat, all it needs is for the mother to be tortoiseshell or the mother to be orange to be to be orange um so it's like a um it's like a little equation uh hmm? Pet petunia has a non-binary girlfriend which i think under either definition of the word does make her gay yeah yeah although at first we just asked people um uh, so who is she dating? <laughs> so, I mean, but also, uh, maybe every single cat in the game is a non-binary girlfriend? I mean, just putting that That's out there. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna ch date Champ, my non-binary girlfriend. That yeah, sounds see? lovely. Yeah. <laughs> We're playing. We make the rules. <laughs> Champ's a girl now, so I can kin them better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, let's give the snake lily to Charlotte. Oh, I just put one on the ground next to Charlotte. You coming to give me a kiss? You're kind of a dork, Petunia. Oh, neat. I actually really like these, Petunia. That's sweet of you. I'm getting damp and cold. But I'm not going to move. I can't let nature win. Sometimes you have to stick your paw in the face of fate, reminded that you aren't a toy that it can bat around. I am the master of my own life. I have agency, and no amount of snow can change that. Oh, someone asked if we're looking forward to playing the game when it's released. Very much so, yes. I could talk, but make it quick. I'm in the middle of a jog. Phew! It's about time I turned in for the night. My eyelids keep drooping. I've never been one to stay up late. And yet you're out here day and night, standing. <laughs> no one sleeps but us. Hello, Petunia. How do the borders look? 
By the way, if you heard something earlier, I wasn't snoring. I was just resting my bad eye for a second. Talon does not doze off. Oh, people are accepting in that Champ is a, a trans female, non-binary girl. Yes, yes, absolutely. <laughs> and we love her. <gasps> it's Jack's birthday! It's Jack's birthday! <laughs> Go get something for Jag. Off. Go get something for Jag. Even on my birthday. That's how mistakes get made. Got to stay vigilant. If I didn't have it marked on my calendar, I'd say that today was just like any other day. I don't need anybody to make a big deal out of things. Well, that's we're going exactly to make what a big we're doing. Deal out of yeah. <laughs> Honestly, there's nothing I'd rather do than what I do every day, which is looking after the kingdom. Okay, Jag. Well, get something for Champ. Uh, no, not Champ. Not Sorry, Champ. I was reading not the chat. Champ. Get something for Jag. Get no something Champ? for Jag. <laughs> okay. Um, likes fireflies. I'll see if I have one of those, like um, rare fireflies. Licorice, starlings, yeah. loyalty, rabbits. Well, I'm gonna give him a black firefly because I've decided. <laughs> um, I know I keep giving him fireflies is because he liked fireflies in the last game, so I'm just making assumptions. Yeah. But this is this is rated legendary, so we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I guess getting older isn't all that bad. Sometimes you get really great gifts. Thanks, kid. Kid? Oh! Kid? Kid? I'm old enough to be your leader. Yeah, come on, come on. All right, um... Hey, it's Petunia. What's on your schedule for the day? There's no replacement for hard work. I try to get up before the sun rises every day. You'd be surprised how much you can get done with an extra hour or three in your schedule. Or three? Champ, Is he I love you. AM? I rose at 4 a.m. every day of high school. I love you. Sometimes you still do it now. I see you. I see you. Yeah, on, on, no, like, I, I do. You go online on well, Discord. And but it's I not because I set my I'm alarm for or try to wake up at 4 a.m. anymore. It's just because sometimes I do naturally. <laughs> it's fun. Hmm. So Charlotte's uh, ring level hasn't advanced yet. I mean, yeah, I'm not sure him... how many that one takes. It makes me wonder if it's more or less, but we've only given her, like, what, three things since? So we'll Yeah, see. or so. I guess we're already married, though. Apparently, yeah. And so, so the marriage levels, I'm guessing you get it to four so you can have kittens in the final game, but I do not think there's kittens in the demo. It, it would surprise me greatly if there were. Uh, mm -hmm. Especially since one of the big uh, potential Kickstarter rewards was in implementing it, the ability to play as your kits. Um, so it seems like it, it would be easier for them to do that all as one block. I'm not very educated in coding, but potentially. Although, I do think it's going to be fun to see what the kittens look like. I don't think they're going to be, like, um, genetically accurate. Um, Probably not, but, no. <laughs> uh, but, but I do wonder, like, like, are they going to just, um, take our colors and mix them together? Or are they going to, like, make half and half versions? I'm not really sure how the kitten algorithm worked in the last game, but it was, um... Y y you did get some interesting combinations. Oh, uh, someone wants us to check the calendar to find out when Charlotte's birthday is. Just okay. to be sure we don't miss it. We might have already missed it, to be fair. Oh, wait, it no, we talked to her every day. There's no way we missed it. Let's see. Oh. Oh. Charlotte is, is on the night. Next week. And our birthday is the same as Buttercup's. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Which is tomorrow. I wonder what they're going to say to us tomorrow, all these people that we know. For the record, uh, a large portion of the uh, chat population has been saying that Bob got divorced from a fish, and we now need to reunite him with a different fish. I see. Do I have any fish <laughs> with me? I don't. 
Let's let's go let's go catch Baba White. <laughs> <laughs> you know that sounds really bad out of context. <laughs> There's plenty of fish in the sea, Bob. <laughs> Literally, please go date a nice fish. I think that's a line from Undertale. All right, let's see. Oh, also, people want us to talk to Buttercup tomorrow, because, uh, oh, you know, yeah. their birthday. We've been kind of ignoring the top half of the map a little bit. Haven't spoken to Glimmer yet, either. Oh, also people are saying no. The fish is a wife. Uh, the fish isn't a wife. They're they're male. Okay, so it's a husband. We're catching Bob a husband. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's not much better. Sorry, I haven't been watching the chat. I was I was unaware no, of the No, no, no. It's fine. That's my job. Oh no. Uh <laughs> The the water seems to be not frozen if it's directly co connected to the ocean because the ocean doesn't freeze in the winter. It's flowing the whole time. Uh There's a very, very large lake um, that I uh, that I would go to as a kid um, that would freeze, uh, and people would just drive trucks on it. Like they'd go, they'd go oh, ice wow. fishing, and they they drive their truck out into the middle of the frozen lake. And that's very overconfident of them. Mm -hmm. It always scared the crap out of me. I mean, I would still be yeah. walking on the frozen lake too, but like whenever I saw one of the trucks, I was like, oh god. Also, yes, anyone ever is allowed to draw Petunia, feel free. Yeah. Go and do as you will. And I doubt anything's going to happen with Petunia after this stream either, so... Uh, yeah. Th this is probably it. The end of Petunia. In her lovely life with Charlotte. The sad, uh... The, the sad contemplating. Is this where my oh. life leads? <laughs> Clouds coat the sky. Neither celestial body is available to see. None of my uh, kingdom mates. I don't know what the equivalent of that is. None of the people who live in this kingdom with me are viewable. Is this how I will be? Alone? Forever? Once death the day the story, ends? The story just like the death of the seasons in the winter covered in snow. One day I too will be covered in layers of dust. Forgotten as the grass beneath this white blanket. Oh. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so let's go, let's go get gifts for my non binary girlfriend. <laughs> oh, it's just Petunia. Thank goodness. Oh, is there something in my teeth? I've been trying to get it out for an hour now, but it's pretty stuck in there. I'll, uh, I'll leave her to that, because it's not really a helping your friends kind of situation. Yeah, don't, don't, don't help your friends pick their teeth. Oh, it's Petunia. Right on time. You're the best, Petunia. I'm supposed to be practicing my customer service voice, but that doesn't sound like fun at all. I've already told you this. Oh, hello, Petunia. It's good to see you. The snow, the snow, the, the snow sure did move in fast, don't you think, Petunia? One day we had nothing on the ground, and now it won't go away. How long do you suppose winter will last? About ten days, Amber. <laughs> sometimes it rains and sometimes it storms, but 
Rain clouds have silver linings, I guess. What's new with you? I don't think I've ever been this cold before. I'm sure I'd be in pain if my paws weren't already numb. Do you think it will ever stop snowing? I'm over this winter business. I want life to go back to normal. Not many fans of winter here. No. Let's see How about Glimmer? Ho oh, ho ho, perhaps you'd like in on my scheming? Your gentle spirit will win you many friends. This is a power that not all cats possess. Wield this power with great discretion. No thing will make a greater impact on the cat you will become than who you choose to befriend. Uh, I um, choose to befriend you, Glimmer. The people we're choosing to befriend is everyone. Oh yeah, yeah well, let's just yeah. get Bob a fish out of our storage. <laughs> I guess uh, if you're finding a fish in this weather is a little bit of a pain. Oh, uh, also, someone asked, uh, but what if uh, your friend needs new teeth? Do you help them pick out their teeth at that point? And I would say, you know, picking out one's teeth seems like a personal decision. You, you could advise them, like, hey, those teeth look a little yellow. Uh, but, you know, ultimately they need to pick their own teeth. All right. Here's Bob's new husband. His name is Mac. Oh, Mac and Bob, of course. Well now, it's good to see you, Petunia. I've been waiting to see you today. Well now, thank you very much. That just made my day. And with that, Bob is a married man once again. No more divorce. Well, the, the divorce does exist in the past, but now there is new marriage. The snow is kind of beautiful, ain't it? I like how it shines on the tree branches. See, Bob likes winter. There we go. A new... A new... <laughs> a beautiful <laughs> new start for Bob. Now, He's... I must ask, is it M-A-C or M-A-C-K? M-A-C-K, Mac. M-A-C-K. Because it's short for mackerel. <laughs> and, uh, I like the music for this season. It it almost sounds uh, reminiscent of Christmas music in a way. <laughs> maybe, maybe he's divorced from a cat named Sal, which is short for. Salmon. Oh no! no. <laughs> oh, not a cat, a fish, a fish named Sal. A fish, a fish is, named Sal. Which is short for salmon. I'm sorry, I forgot. He doesn't date cats. Or maybe he dates cats, he just doesn't marry them. <laughs> the chat is very enthused with the ship of Bob and Mac. <laughs> <laughs> we have definitely injected a lot of story into this game that was not supposed to be there. <laughs> That's just kind of what happens naturally, though. <laughs> well, yeah, that, that's how it's supposed to work. Look at how long I didn't have to eat. And yet... Eventually, hunger comes for us all. I wish I could go as long without eating as this cat can in, <laughs> in this game. Same here! I, I wish I could go a day and a half. That That would be a good amount of time. I'm glad Cattails is getting a sequel, though. Very much so, yeah. Looking forward for when there's more to do. Oh. <laughs> Someone, uh, wonders what Pokemon versions of us would be. <laughs> Pokemon versions of us? I, I have no idea. Like, like what Pokemon we would be? No, like if you were to make Sunny Fall and Moon, uh, Moon Kitty has a different name. Shoot. Pokemon Sunny Moon, Fall. Moon Pokemon Curl? Moon. Is it Moon Curl? Curl? Oh, yeah. Them. If Sunny Fall and Moon Curl were made to be Pokemon in the world of Pokemon. Oh, so like if they were new Pokemon and not existing Pokemon? Yeah, yeah. I 
don't know. Uh, probably fairy type somewhere in there for me, though, because I just like it. Uh, shorter, cuter, larger tail. Um, it's, it's sort of like Eevee, I suppose. Um, in, in that it's a cute, nebulous, not actually a cat anymore, uh, quadrupedal being. Um, and, uh, grass type. Because I've already decided I'm grass type. Uh, the only, <laughs> the only Pokemon game, game you've played is, a uh, Sword? Yeah, uh, shield, shield. Um, also, there there was a super chat. <laughs> oh, oh, what is it? What, was that the one about Pokemon? No, no, this is a different one. Uh, it says, uh, Moon, please talk about Finleap. I've wanted this to happen for three years. Give me your opinions on the problem child slash adorable kitty. Hmm. Yeah. I think Finleap started out as as a completely different character than what they used him for later. I also think he was also a different character when he decided to give up being Book Five's character. Yeah. So, like, okay, he he. When 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 Finleap initially shows up, like like originally, he's incentive for for Twig Branch or well, Twig Paw to to enjoy her life in Sky Clan. Yeah? I, I would argue. Like he's he, he's 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 part of her, her, her clan based conflict to an extent. Yeah. And um the, the biggest obstacle there is Sandy knows who doesn't think that Twig Branch um wants to stay in Sky, Sky Clan and is uh continuously testing her. And uh, he also happens to be Philippe's dad. So, so it, it's very much like a like a, um, a disapproving parent type figure. And yeah, yeah. More important than Philippe in that in that situation is 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 uh, Sandy knows Philippe's dad. He's uh, he he's he's the more pressing figure in the situation. Um, Philippe is mostly there as her uh, Sky Clan liaison. Like he's he's the apprentice that likes her unequivocally and explicitly takes time out to hang out with her unless he's injured, uh, in which case he welcomes having her visit. So, like 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 he's he's a, he's a nice kid, but he's not much of anything. At the same time, he's he's kind of a plot device. He's a tool. Um, not 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 in the sense he would. <laughs> he he's he's an object, is what I'm saying. He's a, he's a, he's something that's a. That that that's 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 pushing the plot along for for Twig Branch, but uh, Twig Twig Branch needed someone she liked and connected to in both of her clans so that the conflict was, you know, reasonable. Yeah. Um. Secondarily, um, once Finleap leaves Sky Clan with Twig Branch, and oh, my inventory is full. I better go. Sell that's been stuff. a while. Um, once he, he leaves, uh, Sky Clan with Twig Branch and goes and joins Thunder Clan with her, um, he stops being a character for an entire book. Like, they don't even reference him, ba barely, um, after he joins Thunder Clan. Uh, which, I guess, is, uh, interesting? In that, like, li 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 like, 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 obviously these, these books are, are written, like, um, they're, they're written, uh, with with different authors every time like alternating mm -hmm. so it, it's very it, it, it could just be that like the um the second author whoever is on that book didn't wasn't really fully aware of the uh twig branch finleap situation uh but um <laughs> when he does come back obviously he comes back as somebody who uh who is entitled and um uh, yeah. demanding of twig branch and sees uh sees relationships as um as a gateway to him having a family and having kids and, and sees relationships as transactions as well which is especially icky like i i have come to join this clan with you you owe me kits now uh you're you're shirking on your debts or something it's it's just really bad yeah and it's it's not that he wants kits that's the problem wanting kits that's 
that has really, really nothing to do with it so much. I'm not buying things. Oops, I want to sell things. Um, like, like again, it's not, it's not about what he wants. It's about how he goes about getting what he wants. Yeah. Um, but it's like, it's again, there's nothing wrong with him wanting to start a family. There's, there's, there's nothing wrong with that even being one of his priorities in a relationship. But there is something wrong with him pretty explicitly uh, ignoring how uh, the ignoring other person how feels about it. Feels. Yeah. It's his his treatment of Trig Ranch is is very unfair in that he um, ooh Ghost Beetle is worth a lot. He, he, he gets angry with her. He gets angry with her for not wanting kits. And that just feels wrong. Like, that's, that's a conversation that should have happened um, a, a long time before. You know, it's not a... It, it's oh, it's not a conversation that should have happened um, when, yeah. when, when he's bringing it up. Basically, uh, the times in which Finley actually is a character, he's a character I don't like. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not to not to be able to go on about Finley for like twenty minutes, but <laughs> sometimes I spend way too much time thinking things over. But I finally chose a g good gift for your birthday, Petunia. Can you find something to do with this crow? Oh my gosh! Oh gosh! It's Buttercup's birthday now. It is. Um, let's. Get if we Buttercup. talk to Buttercup, will will they? have something to give us or will they want to give uh, us to give them something well let's um let's grab something for buttercup um moths, buttercup right? buttercup likes moths shrews uh and butterflies as uh, far as we know let's see what we got in the moth shrews and butterflies department we got this cute tropical butterfly let's give her that yeah Nothing could bring me down today. It's my birthday. Oh, Petunia, I heard it was your birthday today. I thought you might want a golden seal. I hope your day is awesome. It's funny of her to give us a golden seal. When yeah, she hates them. well, uh, they probably give it to us because, you know, they hate it. Yeah. <laughs> they don't want it in their house. <laughs> they just want to get rid of it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's super thoughtful of you. It's a tropical butterfly. Thanks, Petunia. I think they should have custom dialogue if you put their birthday, your birthday on their birthday. A special day for a special cat. I love celebrating birthdays. I hope your day is filled with friends and fun. Petunia! I was just about to swing by and give you this white firefly for your birthday. It's not a birthday without a few presents and some friends, am I right? Spark, meanwhile, gave us the thing that they like very much. Interesting. Let's see what Garlic has for us. Maybe a pile of stones. Oh, it, it, it's Petunia. There was something I was supposed to remember when I saw you. It, it was important, I think. Ah, oh, shoot, I forgot. Oh, Garlic doesn't remember. You came around a lot quicker than I was expecting. I didn't even have time to write this catnip up. Uh, wrap this catnip up. Oh, no. Well, anyways, you're here and you already saw it, so you might as well take it. Sorry it isn't wrapped. Happy birthday. This is fun. I, I like how they're all <laughs> just, like, giving us stuff. Go around and get presents from all. Last night, in a dream, I heard a whisper that today is a special day for you. Is it true, Petunia? I, Glimmer, am the best gift giver in all the land, and I shall bestow upon you a trout since it's a special occasion. You can thank me later. I also like Glimmer. I, I really like Glimmer. <laughs> <laughs> I like most cats in this camp. They're all just very fun. How are you doing but t today, Petunia? It's your birthday today, ain't it? Well, now, I heard that today was your birthday. I got you this to here topaz. Hope you like. Oh it. wow! Wow. Should Thanks, that to Bob. <laughs> I'm just thinking about all the people to regift these things from. Oh boy, Charlie. <laughs> hey, heard you were old now. It's on the calendar. I was old. <laughs> I love Charlotte. <laughs> Somebody told me it's your birthday. 
Apologies are lame, but I got you this snake lily seed if you want it. Seeds? It's really no big deal. I had it lying around. Though maybe you would enjoy it more than me. We can't even plant these, Charlotte. Mm. <laughs> well, we'll thoroughly enjoy them when Alabaster shows up with a garden. <laughs> I, I think it's interesting that they're in the game and that Charlotte can just give them to you, though. It feels like we just got a dummied out item. <laughs> Oh, neat. I actually really like this, Petunia. That's sweet of you. Two wedding ring! Two wedding ring! Yep, we're on we're on two wedding ring. Oh yeah. Petunia is here. Uh Petunia is here. Now the party started. I got you an awesome birthday present. I can't wait to see the look on your face, Petunia. Oh, okay. It's raspberries. What do you think? Lainey's given us the lamest gift so far. <laughs> and you are an honorable cat, so I think it's appropriate to take some time to give thanks for your life. Best wishes on your birthday, Petunia. I understand it's your birthday. Now, I don't want you to make a big deal about it, but I stumbled across something you may be interested in. I don't need this vol, and I'm only giving it to you because of the special occasion. Don't let it get to your head. I feel like every time I talk to Lainey, uh, I I get a new voice for them. <laughs> but hey. My calendar informed me it's your birthday today. I hope your celebrations are going according to plan. You look that like you are. could use a sapphire, right? I bet nobody else gave you one of these for your birthday, eh? No, no one else gave us a sapphire. I trust you'll put it to good use. Now these are this it's a rare gift for us because we don't go in the mountains. Oh yeah. Has anybody given you awesome anything awesome for your birthday yet, Petunia? Yeah, Has yes, many, many given people us the actually. Awesome? <laughs> I spent all day picking the perfect hermit beetle for your birthday, Petunia. I really hope you like it because I don't think I can return it. It's kind of dead. <laughs> yeah, I, thanks for the hermit beetle that you just caught outside just now. <laughs> <laughs> will the will the god give us something for our birthday? <laughs> I highly doubt it. <laughs> Hey, God. <laughs> Greetings, Petunia. You have come to seek my guidance, have you not? I am not bound in time and place like you, Petunia. My consciousness can travel between all places and times as easily as you can walk from one side of this room to the other. I have spent many ages gazing into the distant and unclear future, like an image of the fracturing of light in the many facets of a crystal. There is one common factor in the diverging of all paths, Petunia, and that factor is you. What could it mean? It is a riddle I have not yet solved. Uh, we we have a player. We we get to make agency choices. <laughs> Happy birthday, Petunia. You're a cat worth celebrating. I was just headed your way to give you this dub for your birthday. Don't you love the color? I saw it and immediately thought of you. It sounds like you immediately thought of yourself. <laughs> hey, there's the birthday cat. I'm glad you took the time to stop by on such an important day. Did I hear right that it's your birthday today? I got you a golden seal. No need to thank me. It's your special day after all. Have we seen Champ? We have haven't. we seen Champ today? Let's see Phantom. We need to see Champ today. I and heard Phantom. it's your birthday today, Petunia. I don't- I usually don't celebrate these sort of things, but you seem to be in good spirits. So, happy birthday, Petunia! Happy birthday, Petunia. I hope you have a great day. Here is a queen of the night. Wow. <gasps> That's not a queen of we'll the night. We'll put that to very good use in regifting. I don't think that she gave it to us. I think she said queen of the night, as she usually does, because we had a queen of the night, and actually gave us uh, something else. Because we still had one Queen of the Night in our inventory. Oh. I think she well, I think she plus one errored at us again. Shoot. <laughs> Phantom! <laughs> <laughs> and 
and and obviously licorice showed up in our inventory when 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 they said that. Yeah. So okay, yeah. champ it is. I'd love to hang around and celebrate with you, but I got plenty on my to-do list today. I'm sure you understand. Heard it was your special day today. What's it like being so old? I'm just kidding around. You're looking spry and ready to take on the world. Anyways, I got you this mouse to celebrate. I hope you like it. This is the most condescending champ um, sprite, <laughs> by the way. I love it. I it, it just just this like 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 a high and mighty head. Exactly. I love it. Yeah, I'm gonna marry champ. <laughs> oh, what am I saying? I know you will. I can't believe you've gone on this path. <laughs> you you you, you, you went from it. from a hesitance to to enjoy champ to. To just full-fledged, I am I getting like married him. to Champ. I, I like her so much. <laughs> she she is my spirit animal. <laughs> Howdy, Petunia. Everything's a little brighter than usual on your birthday. It's not so... It's no bad thing to take some time to celebrate a cat as awesome as you. Uh, getting mail reminded me of Crampy. Oh Yeah, let's go see Crampy. Crampy, who I Oh, also, we, we got a super chat okay. earlier, so we probably should have oh, seen Crampy right. then, but... Yeah. Ah, it's the venerable Petunia, almost as old as I am now. Best wishes for a good birthday today. I could have sworn you mentioned that you wanted a bat for your birthday. Well, here it is. Oh, you didn't? You didn't want that at all? Well, too bad. Look at this thing's corpse. It looks horrible. <laughs> Seriously, look. Look at that. <laughs> That's awful. Not only did, oh, did no. Crampy give us a bat, Crampy gave us the most mangled looking <laughs> bat in the face of the earth. I think that's everybody. Yay. That's everyone. We have spoken to the birthday babies, and it's 6 a.m. We've already had a very eventful birthday. Oh, also, we should eat. We're dying. Oh, well, let's eat Champ's mouth. Yeah. Champ mouse. loves mice, by the way. So so she actually gave us something she really likes. I like how we've changed Champ's pronouns now. Yeah, well, <laughs> Champ's the she now. Sorry. <laughs> they're also a they, but they're a she. Every single cat is now they, she. <laughs> Bob, they, she. <laughs> They're telling me to eat the bat. The bat is gross, you guys. Don't but I guess eat the I'll bat. Try. I'll see if I can. I don't even know. Could, I don't that would be good for your health. In the first game, and I was like, ah, oh, I want to eat the bats because um because I'm stuck in the mines and I'm hungry. Well, the bat is yeah. only worth one. But yeah, do, can't bleh. eat. Oh, ugh. Yeah, Petunia doesn't like bats. <laughs> don't 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 force Petunia to eat bats. <laughs> Champ is a material girl. <laughs> no, see. So, so, so said someone <laughs> in the chat. <laughs> oh. Also, people have asked, uh, been asking us to rate the milks or tier list the milks for a while. The milks? The milks. Like, a regular vanilla chocolate strawberry, I assume. What is vanilla milk? It's milk with vanilla! Who, who has ever me. had vanilla milk? Me. That me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, regular non-flavored milk is on top. Uh, followed by vanilla, strawberry, chocolate. Okay, so, um, coconut milk, very bottom of my list. Like, like, oh, like that's the deepest fair. bottom of my list is coconut milk. Second to that, oat milk. Oat milk is, a uh, second Oat milk on is the very list. bad, yeah. Uh, then <clears> soy <throat> milk is above that, uh, and I can't even eat soy milk, it makes me sick. But it's still above oat milk and, uh, and coconut milk. And then there's almond milk, which is, like, a, a sub- 
Like, 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 like it's way too thick and it's kind of gross. And you know what? Sometimes it's vanilla flavored, but um, it's still better than, than those last three options. And then above that is milk. And above that is um, milk with the dairy removed so I can drink it. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then above that is, is chocolate milk and above that is strawberry milk. That's how I feel. Strawberry on top of chocolate for you. Yeah. That's a very good idea. Yes, I did put chocolate milk at the bottom. Not because it's awful, but because it's not as good as any other milk. At any other cow's milk, I should say, because we were only ranking milk flavors. I could have I could have milk for the first 25-ish years of my life. I could drink milk, and it was fine, and there was no problem. Um, and then I turned, like, 26 or 27, and suddenly no milk for me ever again just i couldn't i couldn't drink milk it, it it made me ill every single time i i will see if i reach that uh at, at the ripe old age of you but <laughs> <laughs> as of now uh most of my family has a thing where we actually have to drink milk or we start getting cramps so what? yeah oh no yeah I, I don't understand it. It's the thing. I love to hang around and celebrate with you, but I got plenty to do on my to-do list today. I'm sure you understand. I do. I do, champ. Much appreciated. I'll be sure to put this to good use. Four stars with champ! I thought you would appreciate four stars with champ. I thoroughly appreciate four stars with champ. I'll be honest, I'm terrible with dates. I can never remember when other cats' birthdays are. I honestly forgot it was your birthday until I saw you coming this way. Weirdly enough, I never forget my own. <laughs> Isn't that strange? It's not strange at all, champ. Not for you, champ. Yeah, uh, I, I think I think we've done everything there really is to do in the demo. So yeah, we've uh, we uh, aside from getting uh, four rings with 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 Charlotte, we're we're basically uh, we've basically seen <laughs> what there is to see. I mean, yeah. I, I guess um, I guess we could we could always decorate our den a little bit more. We haven't done that. Yeah, let's try. Uh... <laughs> Sunnyfall anti-lactose intolerant? Hyper-lactose tolerant? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, those, those would both be ac accurate terms. <laughs> <laughs> you must be awfully busy, today, Padunia. Demanky says, cats on a Moon Kitty channel? I came here for Poyo Poyo. Uh, Sorry, no Poyo Poyo. You guys would have in the seen the visible uh, range today. <laughs> seen much, much more skilled gameplay if I was playing Poyo Poyo instead. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, I think we need this in our house. Oh, I see you're interested in that trophy plaque. I appreciate your business. Yeah. Um. Also, uh, we need to become the queen. Ah, <gasps> yes. Will this replace our flower? Maybe. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Uh, they, they said on a dev stream one time that you can wear all of your accessories at once. Oh. Which will make you look ridiculous, but fun. <laughs> I think we deserve to be ridiculous. Ridiculous is uh, what should be your default state. All right, let's see here. Queen Petunia. Yep. Yeah. Queen Petunia. I don't like the whiskers. It, they're distracting oh, look, a it's bit. It's the bell. Face <laughs> <Hey>, scar. <laughs> I rarely find that I like adding whiskers <laughs> to cats, but. Oh, <laughs> Petunia, you are my child! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Alright, I'm taking those off, but it's funny. It's very funny looking. I I'll, I'll probably put those on my. Uh, you know, we never messed with body type, did we? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I like cat voice one fine. Yeah, cat voice one is lovely. Upward, downward, fluffy up, fluffy down. 
Hmm, short stump. Bobtail. Curly. Kinked. Upward. Okay, back to the beginning. You can just make the ears fluffy. Oh! <laughs> Missing ears. Oh my. That's cute. Yeah. I don't want to change anything now because uh, yeah, it's, it's, been, it's too been too long. <laughs> But, uh, we never messed with the body type. Maybe she, uh, would've looked totally different before. The tiara looks a little bit confusing on our, uh, on our cat color, Yeah, but a, a little bit, but... You know what? It's, it's, it's necessary to make Queen Petunia. Leader of the grass-eating kingdom. <laughs> it really should be a queendom. Hey, that's all the money we got. Alright, I'll, um... As it is the last up episode, hypothetically, we could sell everything that isn't a gift for Charlotte. We could. And renovate our house with that money. It costs too much money to even go too far, but we'll see. Yeah. Um, all right, I'm gonna put this back in the inventory because it's a gift for Charlotte, and then um, yeah, I guess we'll go to town. I do want to keep some um, food items in there. A oh, good idea. Yeah. Yes, everyone is always allowed to make drawings. Go free. Don't need permission for that. trying to go through the stuff we have to yeah, go yeah. that we need the least. <laughs> Snake Lily, we didn't ever find any amethyst, did we? It, it was no, Topaz it was, and Sapphire it, it we got? The, uh... Yeah, Queen of the Night and Daisies. got like about as much as we had before we started uh, buying random sh stuff from the <laughs> shop so yeah see if we can't at least give ourselves another room in here <laughs> pretty expensive huh Oh, yeah. Meanwhile, placing items and uh, redecorating floor patterns is uh, free. Mm -hmm. Once, you know, you've bought the items. I don't know if we can actually get back there. I think there might be something in the way. <laughs> oh, wait, no, it's just our exercise map. Oh. Okay. Oh, I, I think we used to have our uh, tapestry on that wall, but it went away when we made it not a wall. Wait, that's not what I wanted. Exit some movie and then... Place furniture. Alright, let's do it. 
Let's see what we got in here. Quite a lot Crystals, of stuff. Crystals, rocks. Oh, yeah. Although Columns, I even. A... I kinda wish it was Is that a, a fireplace? <laughs> yeah. We have a fireplace. Wow. <gasps> oh, it even emits light. I think if There's it emits light, stuff. it has a little star next to it. So like Clipboard. this. Oh, that's lovely. Where's the, um... Where's the silly fish we bought? There it is. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> is the, uh, the Kingdom Tapestry going up again anywhere? Uh, Since sure, uh, we mean... destroyed it. The, the rainbow um, shield thing. <laughs> oh, we can put it over here, too. I'll put it on every wall, yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, are those windows? The yeah. yeah. Oh. Haha. <laughs> We've been in a closed off den all this time. Did you look a little odd though? Yeah. I'm sure this is Oh, why fountain? Yeah, sure, okay. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Do we want to set up like a table and chairs thing for the back? Or a mm, desk okay. or something? Table, table. There's a quote unquote table. The, the, the trunk of a tree. <laughs> <laughs> I think they were different styles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cute to rotate. Wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, people desperately want to uh, us to make things semester uh, make things symmetrical. <laughs> <laughs> I can't rotate this. All right, fine. I'll move this. What else isn't symmetrical? Is it? I mean, I guess there's only one of these. Oh, uh, the the fireplace is off center. Um, the the window is off center, the tapestry is off center, yeah. Yeah, there. Uh, nope. Left. Uh, left one. Okay. Yes. Perfect. And uh, the yeah yeah. Perfect. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. This is everyone. our dining room. Oh, we we have piles of riches. Lovely. I think they're flowers, question mark. Yeah, apparently they look better in the spring. <laughs> we can have piles of riches though. Oh great. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. And we're putting a rug under our dinner table because that, that's, that's just one of the worst ideas you can have. Um, <laughs> it looks good for now. <laughs> Alright. And then uh, maybe something to put on the table. Oh, can you put things on the table? You can quill. Business work. <laughs> because we're the... For the, the the ruler of the kingdom, and we make people sit in these chairs and watch us do it. Yeah, uh, feral cat hotness is not really. 
something we need to be discussing on this stream. They're they're cute. Okay. There it is. <laughs> so now we can go do work. What we were always meant to do in here. <laughs> Perfect. Yes. That's exactly what we need to be doing. We're, we're making paper ribbons to make into streamers for uh, a celebration. I'm sorry. The you... winter festival. This looks like a great spot to curl up to sleep for a while. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> okay, so there there's two levels of bad with this. First of all, this is our dining room and we're showing off how rich we are. <laughs> Not really, but we're showing off the idea that we are rich to everyone who comes to eat in our home. Um, second, to get to this dining room, they have to walk through our messy gym training bath bedroom uh, with an unmade bed and a crystal ball. Yeah, <laughs> and a spider training. on the floor. <laughs> it's half exercise. Uh, but third. Because the gold piles are beds, this means we could also have people who come over and sleep in our dining room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't you? Yep, yeah, yeah, sure. You got a free dining room, Sonny? I, well, I can no, just put our my dining sleeping room's back on small. the table and... Alright, let's see if we can get rooms um, not fit for sleeping. a few more flowers to give to uh, Charlotte. Charlotte. Do do flowers exist in the winter? I think so. The uh, the snake lily specifically. Ah, uh, okay. Yes. And also the Queen of the Night, which we found while we were, um... While we were out and about. <laughs> Hollyleaf and Greywing gang, right here. But Hollyleaf is in fact the best. As far as favorite characters. Hmm. <laughs> sure oh, Charlotte Lee. sleeps in Petunia's gold pile just to taunt guests neither of them like. <laughs> yep. Ah, uh, sorry, hello, I was just dozing off. <laughs> I mean, they had to, right? There's, there's paw prints on it and cat symbols and whatnot. Plus, we put this kind of thing in our den all the time. Oh! Unfair. I don't think I can hit a bird out of the air, either. I'm no, sure I don't care for Breeze Pelt. I also don't care for Crow Feather or Night Cloud. Just not my thing. <laughs> Did you ever play Untold Tales, Sunny? Uh, very briefly, um, but it, it, it was one day I uh, couldn't figure out how it worked. Um, I died a couple times, and then I decided that Untold Tales was too hard for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a... It's, it's the first game um, that yeah, Falcon yeah. made. Uh, the first Warrior Cat themed game, I'm not sure if he made it. Yeah, games. yeah. Um, but. 
It was very popular, uh, closer to my youth. You played all of those, uh, those Warrior Cat RPG Maker games, though. <clears throat> uh, yeah. <laughs> if it was turn-based, I was all for it. No matter how many tens of hours it took to, uh, grind to any progress. My problem with those is that they always seem to struggle to find an excuse for you to fight. Yeah, yeah. Well, the what I generally saw was there was the random encounters, and there was uh, just the ones that took place in the books. And otherwise, you were mostly going around and talking to a specific cat that in, in book you were supposed to be talking to. Uh, or occasionally going on fetch quests, um, or timed races. Like, I, I remember during the uh, Rising Storm equivalent, um, they they gave you one minute and you had to flee the territory, get from the camp to Sunning Rocks, mm -hmm. uh, before you, you know, died. Um, and it, it was fun. I enjoyed it. <laughs> I, think, I think the idea of Warrior Cats RPG Maker games could really be expanded on. I think uh, they they just didn't come into a good um, a good balance, you know. Requiring that you be trained up to level the seventy or so is probably a bit much. Um, there there are ways that it could be smoothed out to not need as much forceful grinding. But the the it explosion of unrealistic magical drama in the after games was always my favorite part of that. <laughs> <laughs> was it like super scourge? Like zombie super I'm, scourge? I'm going to fight level 999 super scourge now. He's drained the magic uh, of all four clan founders through uh, channeling the, um, the, the blood from all of the dark clans and the uh, spirit of all of the light clans uh, currently, and uh, funneling them through the hatred of Ashfur, and all of that power's going into him, so after you fight two brown cats uh, of indeterminate identity, and the cat who was being your liaison through this whole quest, and also three red fire stars, you fight giant mega scourge. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was hysterical. Was that, was that Power 3? Was that the original? No, no, that that was the new prophecy. That was the new... <laughs> Making the rounds again, Petunia? It's nice to have a leader who's so involved. You're an inspiration, Petunia. We should all inspire to wake up as early as you. Then we'd get all our chores done by noon and we'll have the afternoons to relax. That's why it's lovely. I'm, I'm glad you see it that way, Fliss. <laughs> Three red fire stars. Three red fire stars. But they're not actually fire star, they're just the fire spar star sprite, uh, where the coloration has changed to be red. I would like to think that my beak makes me more attuned to the graceful ways of the bird folk. They are so beautiful as they drift across the sky like tiny balls of yarn passing in front of the sun. Oh, to be a bird and spend the day carelessly floating about. Doesn't it sound delightful? Well, up until the time at which you are ferociously smacked down and devoured by a hungry kitten, that part does seem decidedly less appealing. Crappy likes birds almost as much cr as Crappy likes being weird. <laughs> I keep forgetting about the snake lily that I literally accidentally put, put, on, put next to her. I'm still getting adjusted to this marriage thing. What a weird concept. All I care about is that I get to live with you and wake up next to you. That's neat, huh? So they have been sleeping in our gold piles, huh? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> oh, neat. I actually really like these Petunia. That's sweet of you. Why are you always so busy? I want to spend time with you, too. 
don't forget to carve some time out for Charlotte, okay? Well, we were out hunting for your flowers, Charlotte! Sorry, Charlotte, uh, your explanation point wasn't yellow anymore, so I had no interest in talking to you. Oh. <laughs> hey, it's Petunia. What's your schedule for the day? Hold on, champ. Why are you... Why are you going back down on us? Much appreciated. I'll be sure to put this to good use. Hey, it's Leader Petunia. Coming back from a successful hunt, or just about to head out? I once heard that fear is a good motivator. Do you think that's true, Petunia? I have to ask some other cat, because I can't test it for myself. I'm never afraid of anything. Yeah, I'll make you afraid of something, champ. <laughs> buy you a little divorce flower, we're not even married. <laughs> oh, it's just Petunia. Thank goodness. This is going to sound ridiculous, but earlier today I saw my own tail in the corner of my vision and it got scared. I thought a bat was coming to get me. Did, did normal cats do silly things like that? I think I like Buttercup because Buttercup is like Bagheera. Mm. <laughs> uh, but Bagheera is one of my cats, and um, sh she's just as much of a scaredy kitty. Graceful, adorable scaredy kitty, but very much a scaredy kitty. Sometimes it might yeah, I've already said this. I think I dropped a lizard somewhere around here. Oh, there it is. Do you want it, Petunia? You'll probably take better care of it than I could. It deserves better. I'm going to eat it. <laughs> look, look, Garlic, this is what I do with a lizard. Oh. Bleh. Ugh. Delicious. Thresh is good. Lizard, bad. Your gift is silly, Garlic. <laughs> Perhaps you'd like in on my scheming? Your gentle spirit will. I've already said this, and I said this like three minutes ago. Well, now, it's good to see you, Petunia. I've been waiting to see you today. I got everything a cat could ever want a place to nap, mice to hunt, fish to catch, the kingdom. Everything is just all right, ain't it? Bob is and content. you have a husband. <laughs> <laughs> Bob is content. I'm glad Bob is content. I'm content with Bob when Bob is content. Says there's no food in the winter. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's just less food in the winter. Oh, is it Phantom's birthday? People are saying it's Phantom's birthday. Oh. Uh, what does Phantom like? Uh, I will check. Phantom. Uh, very likes doves. Uh, likes finches, peppermint, hunting, and thrushes. All right, let's see if we did or didn't sell the dove in our, uh, <laughs> in our story. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't. The dove! Amazing. Today is just like any other day, really. I have a lot to get done. You know, a birthday is just a reminder that we're all getting older. It's not such a bad thing. There's some added experience and maturity that comes with age. It's all about how you frame it in your mind. Um, 
That is so kind of you to give to me on my birthday. Thank you, Petunia. Hooray. Lovely. Yeah, we're, we're basically out of things to do, but... We'll see what happens when we get uh, to, to full rings with uh, Charlotte. Mm -hmm. Charlotte. Need to try and gather more flowers. I do like cutting down all this grass. are saying the chat is cursed. Is the chat cursed? Who cursed it? I was just looking out for flowers because I didn't want to miss anything again. <laughs> yeah, Phantom's personality isn't all that. They like hunting, but because we're Warrior Cats fans, the whole hunting angle is a little bit, um... Background character -y. Yeah. And it's not really, like, played up to be funny, either. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, horrible ships are being discussed. Not as, like, good things, but as things that do unfortunately exist. That's why the chat is cursed. I see. How can the rabbit do this? The it's a very talented rabbit. Oh. Yeah, there's mostly just blueberries everywhere. Blueberry? Blueberries. Plural, of course. Anyway, guys, uh, please stop being cursed, I suppose. The, the thing that I've noticed in most Warrior Cats fan games is really just that they've been poorly balanced. Mm -hmm. uh, th th there's like uh, there's there's a large expectation for grinding in in a lot of them, and yeah, uh, honestly, even like real RPGs. Uh, I mean, I I'm good with grinding usually, but not not really when I don't have a lot of time to dedicate to something, you know. Mm-hmm. So I think that that uh, with an RPG maker game with a with with a, with a game that you expect someone to play only for 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 um for the duration of its story, um I think usually you'd actually want to uh, try to eliminate that grinding element as much as possible. So Road to Immortality is a thing. <laughs> yeah, no, I that that that's the one that, that 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 is one that comes up immediately when I think of this problem though. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, I, I didn't find myself having to grind at all when I played it. I found the level scaling on the battles to be very strange. But, huh. I, again, this was 2017. So I could just not remember it well enough. But that was that was what made me not want to continue at the time. I, I stopped around, um... It's a battle with a dog or a fox or something. You gotta ch you, oh, you yeah, send yeah, yeah. one of the kids away. And I just thought that that battle was, like, scaled very, very strangely. 
Well, I think the thing about that battle specifically is that uh, a, a lot of the time you are going to fail it, but th that's fine. Like, it's not a detriment to your progress. Hmm. So it's an intended loss is what you're saying? It's a intended probably loss. I actually won it on my first time. Um, I, I swear I spent like a half an hour on that one battle. It turns out, so the most likely outcome is that you get the fox to, it's, it's like half or three quarters uh, or uh, one quarter health um, and then it runs away. Uh, the second most likely outcome is that you lose and the first uh, the uh, least likely outcome is that you actually de defeat the fox yourself and don't need any help. And is that what you did? Yeah. <laughs> wow, Sonny. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Incredibly talented. I don't know what I had done. Like, I, I hadn't gone out of my way to grind at all. I just, it, it happened. Maybe I'll try it again sometime. It's a fun time. I'll, I'll Probably not say on stream, that. though. Uh, or yeah. at least not on, a, not on YouTube. Go play Verote Immortality if you feel like it. it it's a fun time. Sorry, I just keep getting distracted by this ice. It's 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 fun. <laughs> <gasps> Is that a stoat? <gasps> it was stoat. Oh, and it's strong. That's, uh, no, really... very strong stoat. Oh boy! Ow! 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 <laughs> Help! Someone. Uh, uh, take that golden seal that you were given. Uh, do you still have it? I gotta get uh, out. Open here. up your inventory. It pauses. Does it? It's supposed to. <laughs> oh, you're right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that golden seal I was given about that. Right. So you put it away. Um, mm -hmm. Well, you can eat. Mm -hmm. Help. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay. Uh, second plan. Run. <laughs> or slide, I suppose. Okay. So, um, next time I see a stoat, I should probably be more prepared than that. Uh... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was much more intense than I expected it to be. Uh, no wonder they, uh, they, they drove WindClan out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh... Very nice. <laughs> now that that makes me wonder if they show up in um in summer coat as brown in the in this in the spring. Did we see one of those before? But like not we white. have not. But they they very well could exist and just be rare. Hmm. I. That is the first we've seen of any of them. Where mm -hmm. are we? Oh. Does napping help rejuvenate your health? No. Well, oh, you know what? I could well. be wrong. Let's see. I'm pretty sure it's a no, but... Oh, yes, it does. Yes. It does. I... I am wrong. That's why you sleep. I guess we're, that's We're on D&D &D rules. You want a salmon? I have like a thousand of them. Seriously, they're starting to get him away. Take it. We. All right, I'm gonna give you the thing that I put next to you for a, a while. Sorry, Charlotte. <laughs> wow, I actually really like these petunia. That's sweet of you. See how I set the line before it even came up on my screen? Yeah, it wasn't even the right line. 
Oh yeah. Well, that's well, that's another line. <laughs> Really like the, uh, the 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 slider as opposed to random chance catch. Mhm. Mm uh, yes, yes, I do play D and D. <laughs> yeah, Sonny, what's your character? What's your D and D character? Well, okay, I should say I like playing D and D. I don't have a campaign open at this moment because I'm very busy, <laughs> but. Uh, one character I have is a little uh, gnomish bard named Wynne, um, who, uh, as, as a rock gnome, got the ability to uh, make little trinkets. So she actually invented the first keytar, and this is what she uses as her uh, primary instrument. <laughs> the world's first keytar? Yeah, well, D&D's first keytar. Everyone else around her hates it, <laughs> which is fair. <laughs> now, see, what you should do is you should get a real guitar and play it poorly while role-playing the character. Absolutely, I would, yes. I think this is, a, this is my life plan for you. <laughs> <laughs> If we completely fail, we could just start uh, sleeping through the season, if it's easier to just find daisies. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> Golden Seal, Marigold, Valerian. Do you think we can ask other cats out while dating Charlotte? I doubt it, uh, based on the locks. No, I won't try. I won't try. I'm too good. Yeah. I'm a good person. <laughs> we <Whee. Whoa. gasps> Boyd? Boyd! Chat should rebel against Star Clan. Yes, yeah, Star Clan is something to be rebelled at. To uh, against. There we go. To be rebelled against. Imagine if Star Clan was um good and moral. Oh, I have difficulty imagining that. <laughs> Where would the series be? <laughs> what if Star Clan was good and moral and had no power over living cats whatsoever? Oh, now you're. Oh. I have no idea what would happen. Are are they even giving out prophecies? No. Uh, okay. I think that they could they could give signs. You know? Okay. Okay. They can give signs, and they can give nine lives, but they don't have any choice. So we're as thinking to who first dark. First lives. dark star clan continues. Yeah. Yeah. But but like 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 first dark star clan, but um. Still had problems with the broken star tiger star, yeah. tiger star thing. Yeah. So are we doing the take them at their word thing that they actually can't decide a leader and they just give nine lives to whoever's appointed? Or are we doing Broken Star and Tiger Star actually didn't get nine lives, they're faking? Mm. Because Broken well, Star and Tiger Star didn't die on screen ever. They could have just had one life, one life like Night Pelt the whole time. I do think that Tiger Star bleeding out nine times uh, after all of his <laughs> organs fail in, in succession is cool. Yeah, that's, but that, what that, if it was neat. just one really bad blow, uh, and it it was one life? Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, it, it, it's believable that that he didn't have nine lives because obviously Scourge killed him instantly. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And, and Scourge didn't know about the nine lives thing because of that plot point. Pretty explicitly, he had no idea about Star Clan. Yeah. 
<laughs> so ob obviously it's canon that Tiger Star had nine lives and lost all of them. But if we're imagining a scenario in which Star Clan is good and moral, um, they he could have lied. <laughs> Tiger Star does not seem above lying about his uh, presence of nine lives. Come on, oh, come on. Come on, still, come on. Still, 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 still. Right. Did you bring along Golden Seal this I time? I didn't. I didn't. This oh. is just an awful situation. Yeah, run, 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 run. Ah. Okay. Uh, Don't make Crampy no. steal your stuff. Yeah, no. Crampy is not getting my stuff. But I, 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 I might give him some money because. Uh... Please heal my Crampy. <laughs> Hmm. Maybe you should have tried a little harder. Maybe, uh... I can't do your cranky voice. Maybe you should have uh, fought that stone a little more. I mean, it's close enough. But there are certain words that you have to drag out almost at random. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, now, I'm now imagining, like... Uh, you know those Kool-Aid commercials where the big <laughs> cup bursts through the brick wall and says, oh yeah? Mm -hmm. I'm imagining this with Crampy. <laughs> <laughs> Crampy delivering your mail. Oh yeah. Crampy bursts through a brick wall. You've got mail! <laughs> That's quite a lot to mend. I can either heal you fully for 26 mews, or just a small patch up for 22 mews. This is like- It's only four mews more. When somebody when somebody offers to like upgrade your drink at a fast food restaurant- Yes. Like <laughs> three cents more for five gallons. There we are, that looks quite a lot better. Stay healthy, Petunia. Perhaps you were expecting to see a whole wall true. Yeah, we have four stars. May your health never falter, comrade. Oh, have I jinxed it? I hope not. <laughs> comrade. Sorry for that. Comrade is the word, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm trying to see if he has four star dialogue, but it's hard because he ha only he only talks about the inside of his house all the time. Yeah. Nope. Because you're inside his house, he 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 never really repeats his his uh his real dialogue much. Who was it who likes the shrews buttercup? Uh hold on. Um, Buttercup likes shrews, so does Champ. Wow, these are awesome! Th thanks, Petunia! Thank you for taking the time to talk to me. Sorry, I'm not always super talkative back. I do appreciate it, I promise. Thank you. You should go in the house. Well, I guess I could go in Buttercup's house if you'd like. Get set on fire. Some, uh, <laughs> some silverware, but no plate. A couple of empty jars. Whose house can't I go in? Uh... Oh, I've never been in Phantom's house, have I? Ever make her, uh... Oh, I don't think so. Oh. Oh! Um... This made sense in in Ember's house, but uh. Hmm. Well, maybe they're out so often that they didn't have time to unpack. No, this is just crates and crates of dead things. <laughs> okay. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Where where are they unpacking them to? <laughs> Um, okay, maybe they very recently moved into the colony. Maybe they're one of the last cats you get. And that's why they look like they just moved. <laughs> right, 
and I love please stop fighting in the chat because um, I I will start muting you guys forever. I don't know what's going on. I haven't been keeping up, but uh, do not do not use that as a place to argue. Oh, don't mind my frown. It's not you, I promise. I'm having another down day. Happens from time to time. Most of the time, actually. I used to be a lot worse. I think I took some time to adjust after moving out here. Sometimes I still miss my old life, and think that's what gets my mood all screwed up. I'll get over it. It helps to have someone to talk to so that I can process my emotions. Thanks, Petunia. <laughs> Perhaps you'd like in on my scheming? In my wanderings, I have met folk of many kinds. The wisest were the mole folk. I think I've said this before. Yeah. Of course you like the mole folk, though. I mean, with all the gems. <laughs> you're, you're definitely well acquainted, Glimmer. Okay, have we given Charlotte something today? I think we should start skipping through the days again. Um, yeah, probably. Here we are at 12 a.m. It is technically the next day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oops, I gotta get something for Charlotte out of my store. Yeah. Oh, wait, mail. <gasps> oh, hey, Petunia. I was just clearing out my storage box and found out I had a couple extra squirrels and nowhere to store them. You want them? They're your problem now. How long have these squirrels been in the <laughs> box, Buttercup? Yeah, just a couple of hours, is right? Hmm. It's fine. They'll, they'll be fine to eat. Wee! Okay. Hey, Shar. I've got to admit, I was pretty skeptical of this whole marriage thing. It didn't work out for my parents, or practically anybody I knew. But I've got a good feeling about us, Petunia. So far, so good, right? No reason that has to ever change. As long as we keep each other in mind and try to work things out, there's nothing that can get on our way. This is the key to Charlotte. Yeah. Nobody except us gets to decide what works or what doesn't work for our lives. Charlotte's got lots of good wisdom. Oh, three rings! Mm -hmm. Getting closer. Okay. Uh, let's. Uh, it is the nighttime. Let's let's go see. Uh, let's go see if there's any um, there's volcanic queen of the nights or, or anything. Oh yeah. Queen of the nights uh, and also volcanoes. Yeah. Delicious volcanoes. <laughs> oh, look, the moon changes phases. Oh, that's so cool. Hey, Big Era. <laughs> so it definitely looks like the pink is because of the blue cast over everything and not because it's actually... Well, purple cast. The purple cast over everything, and not because it's actually pink. So, you want to ruin my dreams of strawberry lava, is what you're saying? I I, I think that strawberry lava may be a, a bit of a pipe dream. Oh, <laughs> It can be strawberry lava in your heart. You see the lava and you think to yourself, how can I ruin this for Moon? <laughs> <laughs> First, I'm going to say that she can't drink it. My life goal is to ruin lava for Moon Kitty. <laughs> God, I just want to 
spin. <laughs> this is why winter is fun. Ice. <laughs> I'm a uh, quote unquote looking for flowers right now, everyone. That's that's what's uh, going this on. This is what looking for flowers looks like. Every time I'm doing this, I get attacked by a stoat lately, so. <laughs> Did you bring along Golden Seal this time? Nope. Next time, we should think about bringing along Golden Seal. In fact, there's a question mark down there. Mm. Maybe these stoats are more common than I thought. <laughs> uh, it takes out my health every time it hits me. If I could, like, level up Petunia a little bit, this would be different. What? This would be different, uh, but I can't, and I- uh... Considering they start you in the spring, and uh, stoats appear to be most common in the winter, mm -hmm. you probably would have had a lot of time to level up before then. Yeah. It's just, um... It's a little bit too powerful. I never ended up getting a controller out, like I said I would in other er earlier uh, streams. Oh. So, to me, the stoat is just a walking piece of danger. Yeah, yeah. I, you're not wrong. One day, a cat in this game, but probably not Petunia, will grow strong. And they shall stand to the stoat. Um, let me see, L let me look at our, uh, look at our little inventory. <laughs> Uh-oh. Boy in Blue says, ah yes, wildly spinning on the ice in search of flower, which means we gotta go see Crampy. Oh my. May your health never falter, comrade. Oh, have I jinxed it? I hope not. Theoretically, if I were to find another gray-striped cat with somewhat lengthy fur and an average age, strap a beaky mask to their face, make them work at the clinic for a day, do you suppose anyone would notice my trickery? Oh, an advanced age. Cr an advanced age, Crampy yes. Not an, I think I said average old. age. An advanced yeah. age. Crampy is old. Has it happened before? I must decline to answer. Will it happen again? My answer is the same. Am I even crampy right now talking to you? Oh, I can tell. I'd like to keep you on your toes, Petunia. <laughs> Do they still say this if you're married to them? <laughs> I don't think so. I think. I, think I, I mean, you, I doubt it. I, I think if you, you, you become someone who's in a relationship with Crampy, um, uh, that, that, that line of dialogue in general might go away. Sometimes I have another kid sub in for you while I'm out. Someone needs to maintain our marriage, Petunia. Uh. <laughs> like, that, it would start being really awkward. <laughs> I forgot to ping my server about the stream, even though oh. even though I set up that server. Do you want to ping your server two hours into the stream? No, I don't. I'm sorry, I'll patrons. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell your server. <laughs> you will? It's a little late. Hey, everyone. I've, I've set up stream pings, and also I'm not going to ping any of you. Oh. There's, there's too many things to remember sometimes. I can do one thing at a time at best. I have, uh, not actually pinged your server. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, not- uh, we are- we are just kind of winding down, but- Yeah. Just basically get the last ring on Charlotte. really like it if we could find look at look at the milk sky right now oh that looks like some real nice vanilla milk we're sliding on <laughs> vanilla milk 
Vanilla milk. Oh, vanilla milk. Yeah. I'm sneaking right now. Yeah. Yeah, I don't snake, see any of them. Snake, snake, snake. So you can sneak on ice, just not on, uh, in, well, when you're swimming in the water? No, you can't swim and sneak, but you can do this and sneak. Cool, okay. Uh, <laughs> not well, though. <laughs> I'm going to go into uh, to my personal playthrough with a much more advanced knowledge base after all of this. You're also um faster when you're on the ice, so you can just track. You can just chase things. <laughs> that that does seem like the optimal method of travel in the winter, actually. <laughs> <laughs> See if we can't um, check the wetlands real quick for because I think that's where most of the flowers ended up being hiding, being hidden, not being hiding. Blue. are really just free food. I, I think, like, like, logically, it's actually a little bit easier to live uh, in the winter. <laughs> Off of blueberries? Than it is. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess the optimal question is, is there anyone who specifically likes blueberries or berries in general? Um, as far as we are now, uh, the only thing we really know is that Talon dislikes raspberries. Hmm. So, if anyone likes berries, uh, <laughs> who knows? <laughs> okay. Basic point, though, if, uh, it happens that no one likes berries. I mean, does Petunia like berries? You know what? Petunia must like berries because they've been Petunia's entire diet for the last few days. <laughs> Petunia satiates herself on blueberries. Still just looking for flowers. Yeah, the waterfall is still flowing in the winter, but um, I would be absolutely shocked if it didn't. Get frozen mid-waterfall. Hmm, do we know anything that Charlotte likes that isn't a flower? Hmm... Hmm. Uh, Amethyst is the only one we know. Hmm. Which we uh, can't get to without going real deep in the mine. We know that uh, she dislikes ladybugs, void marrow, and lizards. Uh, and is neutral on crabs. We tried to give her a crab? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, we can check our, uh, our, our, our box one more time to see if we have any, like, leftover daisies or anything. Oh, oh, uh... Someone says she might like sapphires? Hmm, we could try the sapphire. 
Yeah. Sorry, Jag. Re we're regifting. I mean, really, what's the point of having a sapphire if you don't give it to your love? <laughs> Maybe that's how Jag felt, you don't know. <laughs> Has Jag loved us all this time? <laughs> Jag loves the kingdom. Mm, very true. We have a mutual love. Actually, we don't love the kingdom that much. <laughs> we don't do much to show our love for the kingdom. Neutral on the kingdom. Others are devoted to the grass-eating kingdom far more than we are. Someone's insisting that Charlotte likes bees, but I'm not really sure on that when Charlotte doesn't like ladybugs. Ah. Oh, wait, we already gave uh, Charlotte something today. Oh. I'm not good with words, you know, but you also know that I love you, right? Bye. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> It is technically the next day. Let's do this. <laughs> I'm in a good mood today. I can do whatever I want. For my birthday, I assume. Oops. Oh. I guess that was neutral. Huh. Yeah. You can push cats out of the way and treat them rudely as long as they know it's your birthday. They tend to cut you a little slack. Besides, if you just had some catnip, everybody knows how to steer clear. Now watch out, Petunia, you're in my zone. Uh, Charlotte, did you did you take catnip today? Okay, but wait a second, wait a second. We could we could have just given Charlotte catnip because all the cats like catnip by default. All the cats like catnip, yeah. We... I guess we'll remember that for tomorrow. And by yeah. tomorrow, I mean the day after we sleep a bunch. I'm glad we didn't miss Charlotte's birthday, though. That would have been very bad. <laughs> Normal amount of sleeping. Average sleep times, yeah. Although I do think sleeping should probably decrease your hunger. If I were in charge. I mean, to prevent people from doing what I just did specifically. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, she mean. acts like she's neutral about it. Yeah. I hear there's a party or something coming up at the end of the season. I'll just assume I'm on the guest list. I can't imagine you wouldn't want me to show up. <laughs> we do want you to show up, yes, Charlotte? Unfortunately, no one will be there. Festivals aren't here yet. <laughs> What's a festival? It's it's where uh, <laughs> everyone announces that there's a big party and then the clearing is empty. <laughs> Just for one day. Just one day. Still just looking around for flowers. I'm probably missing them. I, every time I upload one of these, they say, you walked right past a flower here, here, and here, and I have to go, ah, I see. Oh, haven't seen friends in a while. Oh, 
Lots and lots of blueberries. And a mouse. See, <laughs> if you can become faster in this game, faster than mouse. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, the world would be open to you. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Found one flower. Yeah, I don't think you can hit things in the air. I might actually <laughs> find a way to uh, borrow Windows computer at some point and play the demo myself. Because I want to see what happens with Cramp. <laughs> Uh, no, not crampy. With, oh with my! Champ. Uh, with champ, with champ. <laughs> well, if you want, after the stream is over, we could secretly divorce Charlotte, where nobody can see us. And oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Petunia needs to be with Charlotte. Uh, needs to be with Champ. Yeah, because you want Champ all to yourself. No, no, no! I just want Champ <laughs> to find someone more suited to their uh, to her personality. Um... <laughs> Correcting myself to her there because it's it's a decision now. <laughs> <laughs> I wish this many blueberries grew in the real winter. It it would be very nice to just find berries <laughs> growing on bushes in the winter. It go with the color palette too, mm -hmm. blues and whites. Oh, wait, this is, yeah. Dear Petunia, you have now survived one full year in the Wildwood. That is no small deed. Truly, you are a tenacious cat to accomplish such a thing. Next year will bring its own challenges, but you will overcome them all. A friend. Money. <laughs> that is the takeaway from this. One full year, got money. Wait, did we talk to Charlotte already? We did. We yeah. did talk to Charlotte. But it's now 2 a.m. Or we could go sleep more, yes. I love getting free money for- Oh, it's spring! It's yeah. spring! I forgot how bright it was. <laughs> the, the, the forest guardian is a, a tad bit like doing ASMR, yeah. <laughs> Not intentionally. Spring is gorgeous. Guess what? <gasps> for, for, yeah! Want to cuddle? I could use a good cuddle session. Okay, but if you cuddle with Charlotte, there, there's a spiky... <laughs> there's spikes! <laughs> Married life can be pretty monotonous. What if tonight we snuck out of the kingdom and curled up under the stars? You've got to do stuff to spice up life, or else it'll get boring. We can't have that. Okay, well, we're at, we're at full yeah. full marriage with Charlotte. I don't think anything happens after this, because um, Probably not, the yeah. Demo. They, they do want us to taste the spicy juice one more time now that it's available. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I forgot to sit in the spicy juice as it melts. Happy New Year, Petunia. We finally made it through the bitter winter and into the promises of a brand new year. Let's make this one count, Petunia. There's still so much to do to make our home here in the Wildwood an even better place to live. <clears throat> How are you, Petunia? Happy New Year. I recently received a shipment of brand new items that I'll be selling at the shop. Stop by any time and I'll be sh happy to show you what's new. Okay. Um, I guess we can stop by the shop. I mean... Yeah. See what is new. Oh, hello, Petunia. It's good to see you. I'm not seeing anything new. Oh, wait, no. Oh. I, I, these, mm. There's more spring songs, I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Well, um, I guess we can talk to everybody one more time, and then we're done. They also wanted you to taste the spicy juice. Yeah, and then and then we'll <laughs> yes, and then yes. we'll we'll take a dip. Burn the mid burning the midnight oil. Make sure you get enough sleep too. Sleep is important. We just slept for twenty four hours, Ember. I think we're gonna be okay. Ah, darn it. The fur on the side of my head is all matted again. Right where I can't reach it. Curse this long hair. Short haired cats have it so much easier. They don't know what it's like to be me. Garlic is like evil pepper. <laughs> My ancestors revered the moon above all other signs in the heavens. You hear that, Sonny? They say it was <laughs> the firstborn of the skies before even the earth came into being. When I have questions, I spend much time with the moon while I think. I believe it leads me to greater insight and understanding. I do always agree with that, Glimmer. I, I find that spending time with the moon always increases my uh, understanding and insight. I switched the directions of that, but point still the same. It sure has been a long day, hasn't it? I'm all tuckered out. I'll sleep real good tonight. Making the rounds again, Petunia? It's nice to have a leader who's so involved. Mother always left the den early and returned late during springtime. Lots of hunting to do when you have seven mouths to feed, I suppose. Keep up the good work, Petunia. I had a lot of doubts during the journey to find our new home. Fears about what life would look like out here in the unknown. That rhymed. But I'm proud of what we've accomplished together, and I know we have a long way to go. I can talk, but make it quick. I'm in the middle of a jog. Growing up, our mother always did what she could to provide for us. It's amazing how she scavenged for us and our five other siblings. Can you imagine having to hunt to feed so many children? She was a very strong cat. We both miss her a lot. Hello, Petunia. How do the borders look? By the way, if you've heard something earlier, I wasn't snoring. Like I was the last five or six times you've spoken with me. You, you ever take a break, Petunia? It's very late, you know. It seems to me that you're always running around on some errand or another. Take care of yourself, too. I love you, Jack. Jack. Not in the way I love Charlotte, but... Working hard or hardly working? I'm doing a bit of both. Sometimes I gaze up at the stars and wonder how there can possibly be so many of them. What do you think they are, Petunia? I think, I think they're all sons. I'm cat. <laughs> I'm cat. Oh. <laughs> hey there, Petunia. I was wondering when you'd stop by. It would probably be easier to gather herbs in the daylight, hey? Eh? Uh, too bad I enjoy the night so much. Did you know that some flowers only come out at night? It's true. Yeah, we've, we've picked them. We've we, picked, we've them, picked them for our true love. Hey, it's Leader Petunia, coming back from a successful hunt or just about to head out. Another long night. It's a blessing in disguise. If you put in the hours, you're bound to find success. Take it from me, I'd know a thing or two about that. Yeah, of course you would, champ. <laughs> hey, champ. Oh, Petunia, did you want to see me? Oh, wow, these are awesome. Thanks, Petunia. I'm honestly mostly talkative at night. It's weird how that works. Is that normal, Petunia? Oh, it's Petunia, right on time. It's harder to hunt at night, but I like the challenge. There's no chores to do at night, so I can hunt for hours without being distracted. Oh. My evil laugh is now going to be forever tied to Maple Shade. Oh no. <laughs> Uh, one more person. 
Mm-hmm. You guess who it is? It's Clampy. I would be delighted to welcome you into my personal quarters, Petunia. It's a great honor to sit in one's home with the leader of the grass-eating kingdom and chat for a spell. Yeah. Yeah. He's just always so excited that we're in his house. <laughs> okay. Uh, lava. Uh, we, we view Petunia as feminine. Um, Charlotte also as feminine, but feminine non-binary, definitely. All of the, uh, all, all of the, um, the, the cats technically use the pronoun they. They, yeah. Okay, um. Mm. I, uh, I bid you all farewell. Da-da-da! <laughs> Tell you no, no, Finally no! To eat the delicious spicy juice. No, no, no! Get out! No, no! What's wrong, Sunny? <laughs> no! <laughs> Three! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> you know, I'm just ending the stream. <laughs> oh, I left some stuff in there. Hold on. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you cruel, cruel mistress. <laughs> we can see Crampy one more time. <laughs> we can see Crampy one more time because he needs to save our lives. Yeah. Oh. Pauvre Petunia. Your vision flickers out as you fall to the ground. Spicy juice bad. <laughs> No sip spicy juice. Spicy juice no good for you. We finally, we finally drank it. <laughs> and, and, and here we are after drinking, after drinking the spicy juice. Are you proud of us, Chad? Are you proud of where, we, where we've become? Definitely not. I, I'm not, I don't think this is Petunia's proudest moment. <laughs> mm-hmm. This cannot be the end, can it? You must keep fighting. In the depths of your dark dreams, you hear the muffled sound of a familiar voice calling out. Oh, is it raining? It's raining! Goodness me! Petunia, you're awake! Excellent! You were looking pretty bad when we found you. In the middle of a lava pit, no less. Lucky we got to you when we did. But never fear, I have patched up your injuries. A little rest has done you some good, hmm? I'll just need to assess you once more before I set you loose. You may have dropped some things when you passed out. I'd be more careful from now on if I were you. And it's not like we could recover it. It fell into the lava. Uh, anyway, you look fine to me. Stay safe out there, Petunia. I'd hate to see you in that awful state again. By the way, when you were knocked out, uh, you you were just saying spicy juice to yourself. I, I I didn't understand it. What what could your dreams have possibly been about? All right. Um. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I'm glad to see everybody coming to these streams, and we had a lot of fun too. That we did. So. Uh, farewell. Yeah. Um, Goodbye, everyone. Petunia and Charlotte will will live happily forever, um, drinking lava together and um, <laughs> eating flowers, and ignoring the rule of the colony. 